Hello Year 3, this week we're going to be working on our multiplication and division, just revising some of the key strategies that we've worked on this year. So first we're going to start by multiplying two digit numbers by one digit number using a written method. So if we start by looking at this one, 24 times 2. Now there are lots of ways of doing that and actually we could do that mentally, but I just want to make sure that we're really clear what's going on here. So I'm going to set it out in a column, 24 times 2, I've got my 10s, I've got my 1s. 2 times 4, well, 2 lots of 4, 4, 8. And then 2 times 2 is 2, 4. But remember, really what's gone on here is I've actually done 2 lots of 2 tens. 2 times 2 tens is 4 tens. 2 times 20 is 40. What happens then if I change? Instead of times by 2, I'm going to times by 3 now. Now, the problem here is I go over 10 because three times four, three, six, nine, 12, is more than 10. So I can't put 12 in the ones column, can I? A bit like when I add, I need to regroup. So I'm gonna put the two ones in the ones column, and I'm going to regroup that 10 over into the tens column. Then I do three times two, which is six, three, six. And remember to add that regroup 10, six out of one is seven. And finally, I know I said we we're just doing two digits, but actually, I think, let's look at what happens if I've got three digits. So three times four, we already know is 12. Three times two is six, add the one is seven. And then three times th uh, one is three, so we have 372. Much the same. Once we can do the principle, it becomes really straightforward. So your turn now, have a go at these questions on the right, pause the video now, unpause when you're finished. Okay, let's go. 32 times 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, so we get 96. What about if I times by 6 though? 32 times 6, well 6 times 2 is 12. So remember that 12, we've got our 10s, we've got our 1s, so the 1s stay in the 1s column. The 10 gets regrouped into that 10s column. 6 times 3, 6, 12, 18. Add the 1, gives me 19. And this time I do put that 1 up here in the 100s column rather than regrouping it down nice and small because there aren't any more numbers to multiply by. And then finally, 132 times six. Well, I know the 32 bit's going to be the same, but here, because I've now got six times one, I need to put my regrouped one down here. Six times one is six, add that one, gives me seven, so I end up with 792. Have a go now at the independent task, see how